Welcome back, everyone. We have a lot to go over today. We saw the financials absolutely getting hammered yesterday. We saw a collapse of a lot of different things. The billion dollar question, what's going on? We're going to cover that. But before we get into everything, make sure you take advantage of the free stocks from Moo Moo down below. Put $100 in using my link. You got to use the link in the description. You get up to seven stocks. You get five free ones worth up to $2,000 a piece plus two AI draws. And put a grand in, you get 15 stocks plus the two AI draws. Take advantage of those and then come on over to the Patreon. We got good things. We got the portfolios. See what's crushing it. The inverse plays absolutely hammered it yesterday. Of course, Tesla, not so much. So we're going to see where we go with this. Uh, we'll find out. And then, of course, if you haven't done the Weeble link down below, you got that as well. Uh, click that link in the description. Any deposit, any deposit for my viewers, and you get up to 12 stocks worth up to 30600 for free. Take advantage of it. Now, take a look at this. We need to talk, folks, because look, the market's red, 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 red. The VIX, we didn't talk about the VIX yesterday. But I had some people saying, what are we watching for to know we get to a bottom? Oh, so I think people realize the data I've been bringing to you for the last couple months. Uh, you had everybody yelling uh, that, hey, January was the best. I told you these other YouTubers, these other people were saying it's on a run. We're going to make bank. And of course, I came out on the limb and told you now 4,200 probably be around the top. And it was. And now you're seeing the drag down. And it, just to make sure everybody just knows what I'm talking about. And you can see this. We got up there close. I think we got up to like 4190 something here. And then all of a sudden the collapse down. And you're seeing that collapse down from the top. And we're down 6.25. And yes, I do believe we'll get under this. And you can see kind of this chart. It looks like a nice little bull run though. It does. And so the big mark, you know, looking technically, there you go. You get under 3783. You could have new lower lows of this right down in here. The 3500 range i believe we will get down to a new lower low the ultimate low in bull market or our bear markets if you have a recession usually happens during the recession uh, i think out of the last 12 ones we've never had a low in a bear market that happened before the recession in other words the market started the next bull cycle during a recession i mean before the recession even started so that doesn't happen and so a lot of people believed it would i don't know why because the last 12 times, 100% of the times it didn't. Well, I'm not gonna bet against 100% odds. So I'm gonna go with that. Now, one of the things I'm watching for to rotate, now this is for when I'm gonna become the ultimate triple leverage bull again and everything else. And it deals with this, this VIX. We talk about the measure of volatility out there. And as you see this clicking up, expect bigger green days in bigger red days as we go forward. It's gonna get ugly. And it's gonna get ugly for both the bulls and the bears because you're gonna see these wild swings. Not 1%, you're gonna see 2% spreads, 3% spreads, even 4 to 5% spreads during a single day in the market, which is absolutely wild. Uh, you can see year to date what's going on. And as you can see here, after January, you're starting to run that up. And the, the VIX got down to 1787, now 26.52. And you can see new higher lows, which is not good for the technical followers out there. And I think that's going to tr continue to trend higher. What number am I watching for? Well, I'll tell you, I'm going to be dead honest with you here. See these spikes here? These are the kind of spikes you get that, that mark the end of the bear cycle. And you get this up here. This one up to 66. Usually, though, and if you look here, and this is the look at this great recession. And you guys thought this was bad in 2020. Look at back at the Great Recession. For those that didn't trade back then, which I'm hearing 15% of all investors now, retail investors, started trading 2020 after, this was horrible. That was even worse than this. This seemed to last forever, forever, and you had triple times that we broke 40, which usually started off the next bear cycle. And I want to show you this. So you get above 40 here, right? 40.1. The next little bull cycle kind of started, and then boom, we had 43. Everything sold off again. And the next bull cycle started, and that one lasts for a long time. We're talking all the way up till when? 2020. Yeah, we had some volatility in here, but it ultimately lasted all the way up to 2020. So now what? Well, now we have what I believe is going to be the next 40 pop. And to me, this is a very serious recession coming through. And I don't think the bear market will end until we hit 40. Once we hit 40 in the VIX, that to me is going to be the time to absolutely switch and buy. I'm talking, I'm, I'm going to be making some major moves at that time. Now, remember, though, looking here, you can see 40 happened August 19th. 
and then again we see it in September over a month later so just because it hits 40 doesn't mean it's done it could pop all the way up to 80 like we've seen here or in the 60s like you saw here so definitely things to watch for now I did bring this to everyone as well. Remember, we're seeing uh, some people out there who are experts in their field. Stock market will crash in 60 days. Best-selling author on Lehman Collapse. Why am I bringing this? Because he's nailing it. He's, you know, he brings this out. He actually talks about it. And what happens? He gave us an exact day, 60 days. These are the kind of things I like to follow, especially uh, since they've been correct in the past. They they bring that that to us. And right now, looks like he's spot on. And so we'll see. This is the one, though, that makes me nervous. Bank of America CEO sees U.S. technical recession in third quarter. That could mean Q2, Q3. And then Q3 is considered the actual recession because Q2 is uh, GDP decline. Q3 is GDP decline. That's the technical recession. And I believe, personally, that by anybody's metrics, we will be in a recession. And those that prepared for it will make bank. And for those that did not prepare for it, you'll be like, what's going on? What's happening? And of course, Ken Griffin, if you haven't followed him, 16 billion last year, recession is unfolding right in front of her eyes. Not, it, it, it's funny because those who are in the field, those who study, you're watching this channel. I've been bringing you the data screaming that a recession is coming. And I get yelled at in the comments by some, some people who are like, no, you're just spreading FUD. How am I spreading FUD if two plus two equals four in the data, future orderings are collapsing. Inversion of the two and the 10 year, the three month and the 10 year are at some of the highest we have seen in 40 years and they led to recession. How is that spreading FUD? I'm trying to save people. I'm trying to help you prepare for a possible, most likely in terms of, uh, of, of percentages, chance of a downturn that is what it's about because i remember when we talked about this a lot of people who followed this channel said what to me they said mo if you ever see a time that you believe the markets are going to drop let us know and i said i will in 2020 super bull 21 big bull 2022 still a big bull and then we hit 2023 and we get up to that 4200 and i switch i go inverse and I had a lot of people saying, what are you doing? The markets are rolling. We could go up to 44, 45, 46, 5,000. You see articles coming out. S&P will go to 5,000. And I said, I, all the data I have says 4,200's it. And we're going to go down. And I'm preparing now. So I started making massive sales, going into inverse. And for a lot of people are like, whoa, most going inverse? He never goes the inverse. He's becoming a bear. He's bear burgers. You're, you know I do. You know I do. I love the bear burgers, man. But I got to tell you what, I'm not fighting the Fed. The Fed is having a barbecue and they're frying up bull burgers. And I'm not going to fight him on this. You can sit there and wish and hope all you want. But the fact is the Fed wants the market to come down. It wants job uh, unemployment to go higher. We're seeing issues in the financials. Remember what I told you. What did I say about the financials, the credit markets, all that? Something's going to crack. They are raising rates so quick and they're getting to points that refinances for these corporate loans and everything else are coming and people just can't afford the credit that it's going to break something. And when it breaks, the market will pay and it could be a big time. You think one or 2% down's bad? Well, let's not forget October, 1987, what can happen in a single day. Anything like that could happen. So beware. And so I just wanna make sure everybody understands that trailing stop losses Put options as an insurance. You never want to use it, but if you have it, hey, that's great. You can limit how much you lose. And of course, you could be risky like me. I'm going into bonds, which usually do well during these recession big time because flight to safety and the Fed has to drop rates and they usually do well. And of course, I went inverse to get, that's that greediness of me. I'm going inverse triple leverage, baby. And we're going to see. I still have some long-term stocks, of course. I've been making a lot of moves over at the Patreon though. And I'm moving money from my regular account into my retirement account. And I sold a, I basically sold the long positions to move that money into there. And I'll be buying again. But what I'm buying is going to surprise some people. And we'll talk about that as we get moving forward. I'm waiting for the funds to clear and I'm all back in. Should happen next week. We will see very soon if it does. Uh, but that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. It's been a wild ride. I'm telling you what. Uh, just taking a look. Remember the S&P 500. As you can see right now, yesterday... I, I believe today we'll see a little bit of green. 
sometime, but you never know. If we continue to get back-to-back, back days of red, that is a horrible sign. Uh, the big number, once again, year-to-date, you can see, we kind of see here, let's go year. Uh, this is what we're watching, this zone. We get into there, because right here we had this, we broke below, I thought 39.40, we broke below that. Now, uh, if we get down to the <laughs> that level, man, watch out, it could get ugly. And of course, I'm not basing this on technicals, I am basing this on fundamentals. Until you see some things change and the Fed's gonna get super aggressive, it's going to take a hit on the, the stock market. And uh, the Fed has said it again, even in front of Congress, we're gonna do what we need to do to beat inflation because that affects a lot more people than just the unemployment rate. And so that kind of worries me. And I think the uh, financials are starting to see a little bit of pain if you didn't see that yesterday. And that leads to a lot of issues. And so pay attention, folks. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Now, if you haven't done it, get some free money from the stocks down below, Weeble and Moomoo. Click the links, take advantage of it, then join me at the Patreon or sign up here on YouTube as a Tesla Cat member or higher. I'll have it down there. It's in the description. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.